Swimming is definitely not an individual sport. I think despite what people say, swimming is, is amazing when you've got your team around you. And I really see corporate businesses being the same, working together for one mission and ultimately achieving a goal. I think the word inclusive within businesses doesn't actually mean to include anymore, which I think is amazing. I think it's now all about involving people, and actually involving people in, you know, in all different aspects of the employment ladder. You know, like I said, bringing your full self to work every day is so, so important. And I think that's for your mental health. I think that's for your well-being. But actually having that inclusive space, having that open conversation with employees, with people around you really does make the biggest difference. Personally, throughout my career, when teammates asked me questions about my race or my sexuality, it just allowed me to feel valued. And I feel like the best way to allow workplaces to be inclusive is to allow everybody within the organisation to feel valued and just happy. You know, I think when you share, when you collaborate, when you work together, it just allows everyone to feel valued and learning off each other. Personally, I've learned so much off so many of my teammates, off my coaches and you know, swimming is definitely not an individual sport. I think despite what people say, swimming is, is amazing when you've got your team around you. And I really see corporate businesses being the same, working together for one mission and ultimately achieving a goal. I think goal setting is at the heart of all success. I think everyone's journey is very different. I know that my athlete career has been very different to many athletes around me. But you know, I think for me, setting short-term, medium-term and long-term goals have really allowed me to be where I am today. I think all athletes, I think all corporate business people have you know, been through many highs and lows. Personally, I was caught up in the Manchester Arena bombing and three months later, I competed in the World Championships. And, you know, it was really tough to have to shift that mindset. Um, another experience I had was I qualified for the Olympic Games in Tokyo. After the pandemic, I didn't re-qualify. And again, having to bounce back from, you know, being at the hardest lows of my career. So I feel like everyone's journey is very different. But for me, goal setting and, you know, taking one day at a time, not looking too far ahead is what got me as an athlete through. And I'm sure what it gets many businesses, people through. I think it's so easy to look forward and to look in the future and to see what you want, but actually working together, bringing it back, setting goals one by one and ultimately ticking them off one by one. I think many people forget that a swimming pool, a gym was actually my workplace. And despite not having a nine to five, like many high performance teams in corporate spaces do, actually committing to a goal, a high level goal, a high performance goal was something that we had to do every single day. For me, for many, many years, um, I've been throughout my career now for over 16 years. And, you know, I think there is so much pressure. There is so much pressure on that high performance work, but ultimately I could have not have done it without a team behind me. Swimming is definitely not an individual sport, despite what people may think. I would not be where I am today without my coach my psychologist, my nutritionist, without my teammates. And, you know, I think working collaboratively is, is so important. It's such a vital skill. And, you know, I feel like with me coming in as well, it allows a different perspective. Sometimes sharing different experiences, goals, just allows people to feel valued, but also pulls you together working towards that, that high performance goal. I think when we stand on the starting block at Swimming, we might be on our own, but it's definitely the team behind me that got me there. And, you know, we need that trust. We need that understanding. And I think everyone within that high performance team will know the pressures that come with it. You know, whether you're in corporate spaces or whether you're on a starting block in a swimming pool. And, you know, I think effective leadership as well is, is another key value. Personally, I trained with Adam Peaty. And when we were training, sometimes, he was a little bit low, he needed motivation, and it was down to me to step up to help motivate him and, and almost lead him to, to go on to achieve what he has today. And I think we're all on a very different journey, but I think without us each stepping up when we can, when we when we feel that, that opportunity to step up and support other people around us, I think that's when we can go and achieve a goal. I 
I hope audiences will step away and feel empowered and inspired by my talk. I think personally, I'll be taking everyone on a roller coaster of emotions. I've got many different experiences to share that I really hope many people will take lots of different things from it, from my race, from my background, from my sexuality. I think there's so many different things and nuggets that people can, can take and hopefully put into their everyday working life. One thing I really love is Q&As because I feel like I get such a wide range of diverse questions. You know, I think everyone will take something very different away from my talks. And you know, I think Q&As really allow people to, to have that voice, to get out of the talks what they would like to get out of. So I really look forward to sharing my story with everyone.